Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a 51-year-old patient, female, who has pain in her arm, her elbow laterally, also in her forearm muscles. She's had it for a week or two, and it is not getting any better. And we see here on this T1-weighted sequence, we see that she has some unusual region of low signal over the lateral aspect of her elbow. This is the common extensor tendon origin and this big glob of darkness. It almost looks like she has metallic susceptibility artifact, but she has had no prior surgery. Her other findings were normal. Here's her biceps tendon right here coming down, down, attaching. The radial tuberosity looks normal. We see the brachialis right over here next to it, that dark band coming up to this big brachialis muscle. Those look normal. And in back, the triceps look fine. The main finding, the only finding really, was out here on the lateral epicondyle, this big glob of darkness. Now, if we put up a coronal T1 sequence, it shows up really well. On this view, you can see another just uh, area of darkness there. It looks like it's over the common extensor tendon origin. Very, very dark and uniform. You can see on the opposite side here, we see the medial ulnar collateral ligament coming down and, and attaching nicely to the sublime tubercle here, the ulna. And over here, this big glob of darkness on our coronal PD sequence. Shows up well again. And so in the end, this looks like it's going to be a case of calcific tendonitis of the elbow. Normally, that's in the shoulder. We see it pretty often in the shoulder and not as commonly here in the elbow. And it's usually between 30 and 60-year-old uh, people, slightly more prominent in the females. This was a female in that age group. She was 51. And luckily for her, this is typically a self-limiting disease. They have several phases of this. At the beginning, it may be asymptomatic, and they get this fibrocartilaginous infiltration. And then later, it calcifies. And then in this phase, you get extrusion or extravasation of the calcification, the hydroxyapatite uh, crystals. Um, they get expelled, and they go out here to the outside, and they cause these areas of bursitis. They look really dark like this. And this is a short phase, usually lasts a couple, three weeks. And this is where they're usually symptomatic, right like this, when the crystals are being extravasated and they cause these uh, bursal um, inflammatory changes. So you get this uh, sensation of fullness and uh, bursal pain. And, uh, and then over time, this will uh, go away and it goes into a chronic phase. They can last a long time, but they're usually not as symptomatic. And then with time, the crystals will be resorbed. And they can go back to normal. And this is just a sagittal view here. You can see it. On this last cut here, this glob of uh, calcific tendonitis. I've seen it many times in the shoulder, but uh, you've never seen it in the elbow yet. This is my first case, so I just want to share it. And thank you very much.